Hey guys, welcome to Aussie Survival and Preparedness. Today we're looking at epiderm ointment. I had some left over from a recent burn, and as you can see, it is quite flammable. Very sticky and thick, and it is also smelling quite like petroleum jelly. So basically what I want to find out today is how well does it burn? So I've got a stickier coated in it. We're going to do it inside the um, heater, the wood heater, just for an extra element of safety. I'm going to just uh, pause the video for a sec, put, um, set my phone up in the uh, camera holder so that I can um, film this properly and have both my hands free so we don't accidentally burn something that we don't intend to. All right, I'll see you in a moment. All right, guys, so we're back. We're set up now. Hopefully you guys can see pretty well from there. Get a match. Fire it up. And let's see how all the stuff burns. So it becomes liquid pretty quickly, but I don't see it burning. Oh, there we go. Maybe we're actually going to have to impregnate the cotton balls to see if this will work better, but in terms of getting the stick to light up on fire, it's not working so well, as you can see. And, yeah, it just smells like burnt petroleum jelly. I'm going to get another match to go, just one more shits and giggles. And then, failing that, we might actually go see if I can't find a cotton bud. As you can see how it catches fire more when it's dripping down into it. Oh, there we go. I wonder why that didn't work the first time around. Well, as a proof of concept, that's pretty good. I think I'm still going to go and look for a cotton ball, though. And as you can see, even like holding the stick upright is still burning. So it's definitely the petroleum jelly, I mean, the epiderm ointment that's burning. You could actually make a torch out of this stuff. And there we go. That's why we were doing it in the fireplace to prevent stuff like that. Put that out. Close it up for a sec. I'll be right back. So I'm back. I couldn't find a um, cotton bud in the house, but I found these um, makeup remover pads that are made out of pretty much the same stuff. So I'm gonna pop this down here, impregnate it, and then we'll see how that goes. So by impregnation, you just really want to get it soaked in as much of this um, epiderm as possible. I've got to, might just dial back that zoom a little bit. And so you can see I've got a whole bunch on there just working it into it as well as we can. Uh, I think the next step from here will be to see if this arm um, can light, light up from a flint and steel. That's the ultimate what I want to get out of this. So anyway, that's um, pretty well soaked, impregnated. I'm going to put it in the fireplace, clean my hands, and then I'll come back. Radio. So, for shits and giggles, I went and got a flint steel as well. So let's see how this goes. I might just pull it like that. Didn't take the first couple of sparks, so we'll just try again. Get a little scrape off. There we go. Light top of a flint steel. Which is what I had hoped for, because this is what I want to do is get a whole bunch of that impregnated with um, gauze with the epiderm ointment and then put them in like a clip seal bag and hopefully they'll last for a while. I might do that and then do an update video in about a year and see how they're still doing then. But I don't 
see that this stuff will, the epidermal ointment, should deteriorate. It's got a use by date there somewhere. Bear with me for a sec. Oh no, it just has a made by date. I don't know how to use by date, but anyway. Petroleum jelly should last forever in a day. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these up. I might even make a video of me making them up and then we'll retest them in about a year, guys. But as you can see, that lit up from a flint and steel. It's burning well, it's burning good. It's bright, I think it's even set this wood on fire. It has. It's actually a bit cold today, so we might even get this fire going from here. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'm trying to increase the um, quality of the content that I'm putting out. Thank you for those who have um, recently subscribed and to those who have been with me for a long time. I intend to get better. Um, and I've got a lot of exciting videos planned in the near future. But anyway, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you later.